All right, guys, I'm gonna take you to a place that's kind of secret. It's not really secret. He is open for retail, but a lot of his business is not just retail. He also ships wholesale fish right across the country. Now we're still, we're just starting to come out of the pandemic a little bit now. So the selection that this guy normally has isn't his, it's not there yet. This guy normally has absolutely everything to offer. This is my good dear friend, Mr. Spencer Jack's place. This is the aficionados in Winnipeg. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right, guys, Spencer, he's just a little bit outside of Winnipeg, but you definitely know you're going into the right place. The minute you cross the threshold, you're transported into an entirely different world. You're greeted first by these two absolutely breathtaking display aquariums, 625 gallons each, I believe not they might be a little bit bigger all custom made absolutely stunning filtered by large wet dries matten filters as well as a pair of large canister filters crystal clear from end to end now Spencer's warehouse is a working warehouse. It's not set up to be a pretty, pretty pet store. You'll notice there's very, very rarely is there any substrate in any of the aquariums. Fish are coming and going rather quickly. His primary business is wholesaling tropical fish right across the country. And he imports from fish from some of the most world-renowned fish exporters the world over. But those that know Spencer, also know him as a world-renowned speaker, an incredibly knowledge individual, as well as he's an extremely accomplished cichlid breeder. So he's very invested with a couple of farms in Southern Florida, where he maintains a lot of his breeding stock. Look at these stunning wild-caught discus. Something you would rarely see Jow cat, a large pilmadelid from the Amazon basin, another group of wild discus that have just come in. Now, as I mentioned, we're just start. We're still somewhat within the pandemic, and during the pandemic, it has been very, very challenging for the aficionados to acquire. Based based on where we are in central Manitoba, central Manitoba, Canada, it made it a bit challenging for accessing certain countries to get certain fish in. So primarily South American, and then the farm fish from his farms in southern Florida, being a lot of the, the filler fish. Now, every tank within his warehouse is filtered by these Hamburg Matten filters. Just look at the flow. Extremely efficient biological and mechanical filters. Row after row after row of tanks. There's a big, large central drainage system in the middle there. Now, Spencer's warehouse is roughly just shy of 7,500 square feet. And he maintains over 33,000 gallons of fresh water. Here you can see behind the rows, each tank is fitted with an overflow drain, as well as that is the water change manifold. So water changes are done automatically through each system. All the mat filters are driven via air. You see the fans in the ceiling, make sure that there's no hot or cold spots within the warehouse. So it maintains a nice ambient temperature 78 to 80 degrees year round. Now, if you notice any heaters in the aquariums, they're generally for new imports, fish that are a little bit more sensitive when they come in on imports, require slightly higher temperatures, or fish that may break down with, uh, with any sort of things such as ick. There's another view of 
the central draining system, comes through the whole warehouse. But the diversity of the species that Spencer's bringing is incredible. Such as these beautiful farm-raised Bozemani rainbows, wild imported gold tetras, the only one that is actually truly gold. All the farm-raised fish retain none of that gold fleck. But row upon row, amazing, incredibly diverse, healthy, tropical fish. forever. You get lost in here for days, just looking at tank after tank. Beautiful wild quarries. Such inquisitive little creatures. Beautiful orange laser. A Peruvian species. Just begging to be taken home. This is one of those fancy ones, uh, one of the newer geophagines. I believe this is Geophagus sveni, and sometimes they come in with mouthfuls. So in the tank with the Cardinal Tetras, we've got one of these beautiful little German breeding rings that is full of fry for the sveni. Unique silver dollars, set in tiger. Here's a species that's more like a pacu. Types of glowfish. Kekatea krausi. Sorry, Meyer's eye. One of the many stunning Severum species. Unique garrisons. There's something we don't see every day. Triporthius angulatus. An incredible garrison from South America. It's fairly large. Fire red blowfish. And the new, at least to Canada, newer, the glowfish beta. Spencer is a passionate life bomb harvest. We've known each other since we were little kids. He has never wavered in his love for fish. He's traveled the world over finding the absolute best sources. He's collected in almost every country in South America. Thankfully to us, at least in Canada. He's making your wet dreams come true. The Africans, Central Americans, this little unique wolffish species, the little red wolffish. Your heart desires. Tomasekla tuba. One of the most coveted of Central American cichlids. Be it unique plecos, Madagascar species. Whatever your flavor, the aficionados can make your dreams come true. Now the environmental controls within this building, this unit here is normally sold for large commercial public swimming pools, indoor swimming pools, and it maintains the climate, the humidity levels. That there is the radiant heat, and then the fans in the ceiling disperse it evenly. Here's the secret area. This is the other half of the warehouse, and this is primarily where all the dry goods. Spencer is an importer, of several very world-renowned lines of aquarium products. He's a distributor in Canada for the Hamburg Matte Filters, Eheim, Ebo Jaber, all sorts of different hard goods, 
aquascaping materials, hardscaping, be it aggregates and rocks, driftwoods, ceche, as well as Sara, Hakari, JBL. On the wholesale side, requires him to have so much more product available. For us, being able to go down and shop in person makes an incredible day when you're looking for hardscaping. We're going to be doing having a separate hardscaping video coming out shortly, so stay tuned for that. Diversity of the different types of woods available for use in home aquarium and paludarium, second to none. As I said, Spencer is a primarily a wholesaler. He is, however, open to the public. And if you're ever in the Winnipeg, Manitoba area, he is only about 15 minutes north of the city. You want to wish if you don't want to be able to poke into the warehouse and shop for yourself and see this place firsthand just check out his website cyclaholic.com and post regular his business hours on there he's gotten in so many incredibly unique products as of late that i think i'm going to start doing some unique product profiles of just some things that I've never ever seen here in Canada before. Really, really, truly unique products. Such an incredible selection of products. Now the one thing we haven't shown you yet is the large selection of aquarium plants. It's both wholesale and retail, large scale. You can see all these beautiful rows and rows of tanks. Plants are coming in almost weekly. Selections never always changing. So, if you ever find yourself in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and you've got hours and hours to spare, trust me, it's worth the stop. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you kindly for watching my friends. Take care.